Wayne LaPierre, Executive Vice President and CEO of the National Rifle Association. Thank you so much, sir, for coming on the program tonight. Hey, good to be with you, Cam. Hey, it's great talking to you. All right, so I've, I've got to ask you, first of all, what is your reaction to the latest moves in Fast and Furious? Ken Melson, uh, uh, not acting director of the ATF anymore, moved over into the Justice Department. U.S. Attorney for Arizona, Dennis Burke, allowed to resign with the pats on the back and accolades. What's your, uh, what's your take? Well, you know, here's the deal. And this is a question every American ought to be asking. How can Valerie Plain get a special prosecutor and Fast and Furious, this scandal where the Obama Justice Department ran thousands of guns into the hands of the most evil people on the planet, how can they, that scandal, get nothing but an Eric Holder cover-up? I mean, that's the question we really ought to be asking. I mean... All of the rest of this stuff, I mean, at some point, you know, but we need to know the problems before we can even begin to think about the solutions. And the only way that we're going to know the truth is a special prosecutor, because this ongoing investigation that Eric Holder says he's running in the Department of Justice, everyone knows is nothing but an ongoing cover-up. Well, I mean, that... Uh, no, I, I, you know, I, look, I mean, for six months they've been saying they have this internal investigation going on. We've not heard any results from the, uh, uh, from the investigation, but you're right. We keep seeing these personnel shifts where everybody gets moved under the uh, umbrella into uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, and, and what is there, what, 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 what is there to do about it other than, you know, get that special prosecutor out there and, and, and start investigating this? Exactly. I mean, I know the White House and the Department of Justice are going to resist a special prosecutor. And the reason they're going to do it is because a cover-up is a crime. I mean, the fact is, I mean, we believe and I believe that a special prosecutor, if he's appointed, is likely to find ongoing crimes being committed right now today in the Department of Justice and maybe in the White House. Because a cover-up is a crime misrepresenting information to Congress is a crime. I mean, look at what happened at Watergate. I mean, we need to get the truth out. I believe that if they start looking into this, one of the things they're going to find is the whole reason of Fast and Furious was to gut the Second Amendment to the Constitution of the United States. I mean, I, I personally believe that, that that's the only thing that makes any sense about this. For them to engage in this in, in order to say, oh, look, we need new gun control laws. Exactly. I mean, it was a political agenda. Uh, they had been putting the, the, the lie out there that 90 percent of the drug cartels' guns are coming from the United States, and they were saying it over and over and over again, and they wanted to create straw purchases to make that 90 percent nonsense appear to be real. And why did they do that? To pursue a political agenda of more legislation in the United States on the Second Amendment and on uh, and against law-abiding American gun owners. You know, Wayne, we, we've already in essence seen this because one of the emails that uh, was released uh, more than a year ago shows ATF officials asking uh, the Phoenix office, "Hey, do you have any anecdotes about Fast and Furious that you can uh, share with us? Because we want to implement this new long gun reporting." Scheme, the, the very same scheme that the uh, Justice Department announced a few weeks ago, and the NRA is uh, uh, now trying to uh, to stop in court. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly right. I mean, it, it, we need to know how high this goes in the Department of Justice, into the White House, whose fingerprints are all over this thing. I mean, the only way we're going to know is a special prosecutor. I mean, was ATF, and, and we all believe they were, running this with the blessing of the Department of Justice? doing all this with the blessing of the White House? I mean, common sense tells me there had to be some authority on this coming from the White House. Yet, right now as we talk, no one knows how deep it goes, mm -hmm. how high it goes. And we all know that the Obama administration, from the White House to the Department of Justice, is simply trying to cover the whole thing up. Well, absolutely. I mean, and, and, you know, you mentioned Watergate earlier, Wayne. I, you know, last night uh, on Cam and Company, we were sharing the editorials in the Washington Post and the New York Times, 
both of which were so formulaic. I, they were they were so you knew what they were going to say. Oh, well, now that these uh, personnel moves have been made, nothing more to see uh, about Fast and Furious. Now what we really need to do is work on a a permanent director for the ATF, more power for the ATF, more authority for the ATF, and more money for the ATF. Yeah, I mean, and and we can't even begin to... uh, I mean, that's the whole idea of blaming this on the NRA, which is what... The Washington Post has been trying to do. Yeah, they say the real this. scandal is how much power the NRA has. I mean, as if as if the fact that NRA has a problem with some director would lead the agency or the Department of Justice to become criminally inclined. I mean, like like NRA had some interest in 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 in, in running two thousand guns into the hands of some of the most evil people on the planet. And then ruining the lives of honest American gun dealers, and then trying to cover it up. And uh, Look, I mean, it's preposterous nonsense. I mean, what really went on here, in my opinion, is a criminal conspiracy coming out of the Department of Justice, where they aided and abetted the criminal activity out of these drug cartels in Mexico by giving these evil people. Uh, putting firearms right into their hands. And, uh, I mean, uh, people, as you know, are getting killed, including some of our own poor Border Patrol agent, Brian Terry. Yeah. I mean, what is the difference between what they did, sending thousands of guns into the hands of, of some of the most evil people on the face of the planet, and then people are getting killed, and just standing by and letting hitmen go out and kill people? I mean, the result is the same. Innocent people are dying. I mean, as an American citizen, what I think really ought to bother every American citizen is our Department of Justice was running thousands of guns into the hands of the Mexican drug cartels. They were running a major campaign to manipulate public opinion in this country with the 90 percent, 90 percent, 90 percent, and then blame it all on honest American gun dealers. Mm -hmm. They were ruining the lives of honest American gun dealers like Bill Carter in Houston, who they told to make these sales. It's now come out they were even overriding the National Instant Check System, apparently, to get it done. And then when it started to come out, after Agent Brian Terry was, 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 was murdered and some of these guns were found at the scene, and the agents down the line could no longer take the stink of this whole thing, and they started to use the Whistleblower Act and go to Congress on this, then a massive cover-up started to take place. I mean, what this sounds like is what happens in South American dictatorships that we Americans shake our heads and say that could never happen here in the good old USA. This thing needs to be stamped out hard, like a small fire in the forest, before it's, it, 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 it turns into a raging forest fire that, 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 that actually changes our country in terms of the conduct of, 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 of people in federal office in this country. Wayne LaPierre, the executive vice president and CEO of the National Rifle Association, joining us. Uh, Wayne, uh, you've called for a special prosecutor. We also know that the uh, House Oversight and Government Reform Committee is going to have more hearings before the end of the year. Senator Grassley has been uh, working with the uh, within the Senate Judiciary Committee. Uh, does Congress still have a role to play, in your opinion? Uh, they, uh, they sure do. I mean, the Congress needs to uh, run a top-to-bottom investigation of this whole thing, because until we know the problems, we can't even begin to address the solution. And uh, the other thing, the American media in this country, the, the big media in this country, I mean, they, need, they, uh, they have been so dishonest on this. Someone needs to put a mic at the next press conference in the President of the United States' face and say, are you going to stop the cover-up? Are you going to pick up the phone and order your attorney general to stop covering up and provide Congress with the subpoenaed information that they have subpoenaed. And, and so the American public can know the truth. And order your Department of Justice to stop giving Congress only pages and pages of redacted material where all Congress ends up seeing is black lines. I mean, you know, 
the media in in this country, in my opinion, yeah. by and large, they have been pursuing a political agenda on this, which is basically to cover for the Obama administration as opposed to seeking the truth. Yeah, I I, I agree with you, Wayne, I, and I hate to say it, you know, and there have been, look, there have been a few bright spots. Cheryl Atkinson at CBS News has done uh, a good work. The Los Angeles Times has run, I think, five front-page stories on uh, Fast and Furious. But you're right. I mean, the Washington Post, the New York Times, NBC, ABC, uh, you know, CNN, I, most of the media has come at this story uh, with, as you say, I think a political agenda, and that agenda is cover the president's rear end. Let's we can't have a major scandal on top of everything else that's going on right now. That's right. I mean, so what that amounts to is two standards in this country, one for a Bush Justice Department mm-hmm. and another one for an Obama Justice Department. I mean, can you imagine if the Bush administration had been running thousands and thousands of guns from the Department of Justice into the hands of the Mexican drug cartels, lost track of all of them, and then People started to get killed all over the place by these by these uh, drug cartel members. It it'd be front page in the New York Times, front page in the Washington Post. It'd be it, every other night. It'd be on ABC, NBC, and CBS. Yeah. But instead, you get hardly a peep out of most of the media in this country. And when you do get a peep out of the Washington Post, it's trying to somehow blame this on the NRA. And and call for uh, more gun laws in the United States. Yep, I mean it's an example of why Americans, I think, are getting so disgusted with this whole town, Washington D.C., and with the politicians in it. It uh, and why they're they're more and more disillusioned with the whole media in this country. I I, I, Wayne, I agree one hundred percent. I'm just uh, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm really proud and privileged that uh, we can do this every night and actually bring people the latest information on Fast and Furious that, frankly, they're not getting from the networks. They're not getting from their hometown papers. At least there is some place where they can uh, they can get the latest factual information about this scandal. Well, and that's why I, I commend you for what you're doing, Cam, because it's gotten to the point in this country with you'd think the truth would give you protection, but that the protection is not there from the truth unless you fight for it every day. And that's one thing you're doing every night by being out there doing what you're doing. Well, listen, you know, it wouldn't be possible without the uh, the work of NRA members and, of course, you know, folks like yourself. So we, we appreciate the opportunity. And, uh, uh, Wayne, you know, I guess any any final words for NRA members out there, what, what should they be doing? Should they be calling their members of Congress and demanding that special prosecutor? They should absolutely be doing that. Demand a special co- prosecutor, demand a top-to-bottom investigation on this, and do not rest until we know who knew, when they knew, how high it goes, and people are held responsible. Wayne LaPierre, Executive Vice President and CEO of the NRA, thank you so much, sir, and uh, we look forward to doing this again very soon.